to prove that a over sine a is equal to b over sine b equals c over sine c triangle abc with altitude h and side c which is length a b small c And let's call the midpoint from A to B, let's call it D. And let's call it here C1, C2. Opposite A, let's call it small a. Opposite B, let's call it small b. So using trig ratio, however, we'll be dealing with only sign since we are proving the sine rule. Now, sine of angle A from triangle ACD, ACD, let's find sine A. Therefore, sine a from triangle ACD, which is opposite over hypotenuse, opposite A over hypotenuse A. And what is opposite A? Opposite A is our altitude, which is H, over hypotenuse A, which is B. Therefore, sine A is equal to h over b. Now let's make h subject formula. When I have h to be equal to b sine a, let's call this equation 1. h equal to b sine a. If you cross multiply, b times sine a over h times 1 is h is equal to b sine a. Let's call this equation 1. Also, from triangle CBD, let's find sine b. Sine B, which is opposite B over hypotenuse B. And what is opposite B? Opposite B here is the altitude H or the perpendicular height H over the hypotenuse A. Therefore, sine B will now be h over a making h subject formula also we have h to be equal to a sine b let this be equation two now we have our equation one as h equal to b sine a and equation two as h is equal to a sine b so 
let's equate the value of h from equation 2 and equation 1. Now, from equation 1, we have h equal to b sine a. We are making use of b sine a, which is b sine a to be equal to the value of h in equation 2, which is a sine b. Therefore, let's divide both sides by the product of sine a and sine b. So divide the left hand side, which is b sine a, by sine a sine b, and also the right hand side, which is a sine b, by sine a sine b. So we'll have it as b sine a over sine a sine b. So now be equal to a sine b also over sine a sine b. On the left, sine a will divide sine a. So we're left with b over sine b. On our right, sine b will divide sine b. You are left with a over sine a. So b over sine b equal to a over sine a is the same thing as a over sine a, which is also equal to b over sine b. And we can also say is equal to c over sine c. So this is how to prove the sine rule, which is a over sine a equal to b over sine b. I hope this video is helpful. Please ensure to hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. And if you've done that, stay tuned for more exciting mathematics solutions.